Hey everybody, LogicBomb82 here with the Minecraft Union. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a dedicated unturned server for the new uh, free-to-play release that just happened today. This is for version uh, 3.2. Uh, the game is free-to-play, so it's uh, also free to host a server, which is awesome. Um, this is going to be a little bit different than normal setups. We're going to actually download the game straight through Steam. So on the machine that you want the server to be on, you're going to want to hit play now. What that will do is that will download the game onto your machine. It is 1.7 gigabytes. So when that's done, you're going to want to go to wherever your Steam saves its games. The default location is the program files 86, um, Steam, Steam apps, common, and then unturned. Once you go in there, you're going to want you're going to look you're going to want to find the unturned.exe. You're going to want to right click on it and hit create shortcut, which I've already done right here. And you're going to have an unturned.exe shortcut. You want to right click on it and go to properties. And then in here, you're going to want to just edit a little bit. You don't, you don't delete anything out. Just get to the very end of it, which is going to be this unturned.exe right after the um, colon or not the colon, the hyphens. Right after that, you're gonna wanna do a dash, no graphics, space, dash, batch mode. Move that out of the way. Space, then a plus, secure server. And then, that's actually it. You can take the rest of that out. Just do the secure server part, just like that. And that's the end of it. Hit apply. Well, actually, I take that back. Let's go ahead and leave. Do it. Do a slash and then put it in some kind of a name. So mine was the Minecraft Union. And then you hit apply. That's the name of your server, whatever that is. But we're gonna. I'm gonna show you how to change that here in a second. But the first time you run it, um, the files aren't there to change it, so you need to do that. So once that's done, just hit. Um, just go to your, the one you just made, the shortcut one, and then double click on it. And it's going to pop up a little little uh, CMD window, command window. And it's going to run through setting up the server for the first time and downloading all the files and everything. It does download to some additional files, not very many, but. Okay, once that's done um, in the level, the loading level equals 100% and it's done doing its thing. Um, you want to type in shutdown. And just hit enter and it'll shut the server down. Now what you'll find is you now have a folder in the exact same location you where you were. It's called servers. Double click on that and then there's the the name that you gave it, whatever you put in there. Like I said, mine was Minecraft Union. And then double click on that, and then you have another servers folder. Go into there. Now you have a commands.bat and a blacklist and an admin list. So the admin list is where you would add yourself. You have to enter your Steam ID number. Um, if you want to do it that way, but we're not going to go, go over that right now. So the commands is the most important. So right click on it. You need to edit with a text editor. I recommend Notepad++. And then, so this is this is where you're going to name it. All you have to do is you have to type in name and then whatever you want the name of the server to be. Mine's Minecraft Union. And then you type in password. It has to be on a separate line as well. So then you make another line, type in password. Password for my server is going to be MCU. If anybody wants to come check it out, you're more than welcome. And then you uh, you can also put in max players. I put in 12 right now just to test it. Um, there's a lot more commands you can enter. Um, you can do you can change the map. I think there's two, at least two maps and more you can download on the workstation or the workshop. I mean, you can download those. You can change the mode. So that, that's kind of an important one. You can put mode and then space, and then you can this sets the difficulty. You can do easy, normal, hard, or gold. Um, the gold version is for people who purchase the gold membership only. So we're going to do normal to set the difficulty on normal. Um, you can do the owner of the server, which automatically gives you admin rights when you log in. That's owner. Dash, and then your long ID number, which is like five or six. I don't know, it's like, I forget how many digits, 15 or something. You can get it from your Steam profile. If you uh, know what you're doing, you can find that. Um, you can set the different perspectives, so you can have it be in first, third, or both for vehicles and stuff. Uh, you can also set the port, which is pretty important. So, port, 
and then you can make it whatever port you want. So like three three seven five, for instance. Which, you know, you wouldn't want to use that one really because uh, I think the default port for this game. What is the default port for this game? Should have had that out. Okay, the default port is going to be two seven zero one five. So two seven zero one five. That's the default port. So you wouldn't actually have to put this in there. It's going to be that by default. But if you want to change it to like you know two seven zero one eight, you can do that. Now make sure you do open that port on your firewall or router so people can connect to your server. If you don't have that open, it's not going to work. Um, Look up your model of router or firewall on the internet and find out how to open ports. They're all different, so don't don't bother asking me, asking me because I probably can't help you because I doubt we have the same model. So that's how you do that. There's other things you can set if you Google um, setup commands for unturned. You'll find probably a list on there. So that is how you do that. So we're just going to set have those set right there. Whoops, I changed took the mode out. Let's put that back in there. Mode normal. There we go. And once you have whatever you have in there set, just hit file, save. And now you're done. You can blacklist people right here too if you have people you need to ban. So now you want to go back to that file you created, this unturned.exe slash shortcut. I would, I would name it something different. I'm going to name mine unturned slash server. So this is how I'm going to launch my server. That way I can keep them separate. And then when you run it, the cool thing about this game is it tells you successfully set name to whatever you made. And then it says successfully set password to MCU. It shows you everything you put in there and tells you if it did it correctly or not. So everything we just put in there worked, which is great. And then your server's up and running. Uh, you're good to go. People can join it from the outside. Like I said, as long as your port's open. Uh, it's a great game and it's free to play. So it's fun to get some friends together and play the game and everybody can have a great time. I hope the video helped you. If you have any questions, post them in my channel and I'll try to get them answered. Please subscribe and have a great day.